Hi, right, what's going on everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. The man with the plan, the man with the knowledge, the man with the wrestling news. Not a good day for the Iceman, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Like I always say, it is what it is. Um, so we got Hell in the Cell. And um, the, here's the thing with Hell in the Cell. Um, I, I, I really don't know exactly I don't know I can't I can't figure out the WWE because the pre-show match has Ziggler Cesaro and Neville against Sheamus Rusev and, and King Barrett pre-show match so you have the money in the bank briefcase holder contract holder in a pre-show match <sighs> Dolph Ziggler in a pre-show match whereas you know I'm I'm still wondering. We'll talk about this in a mo a moment, but um, some of these guys should be on the actual card, not on pre-show. That's all I got to say. This is this is a six-man match. I could care less about it. It's meaningless. It, it's it, it absolutely does nothing. Doesn't matter who wins. It does absolutely nothing. And then we have the John Cena U.S. Open Challenge. Where people are talking, it'd probably be Big E or Kofi Kingston because Cena has had a lot of issues with the New Day as of late. With Cena helping out the Dudley Boys, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, they're talking about Tyler Breeze coming up from NXT and coming in and defeating John Cena, and then I'm seeing reports after Cena comes back, he's defending the United States title at Madison Square Garden. So I don't know. I I, I don't know what the WWE is doing. Um, I think it would be a mistake for Tyler Breeze to come up and beat John Cena. Um, because I'm looking at Tyler Breeze and I compare him to Kevin Owens. And to me, there's no comparison. Kevin Owens, by far, is a more dominant wrestler. And for Tyler Breeze to come in, unless there's some sort of uh, shenanigans, maybe with Summer Rae, because they're talking about Summer Rae maybe being involved with him or not, I don't know. I would rather see Dolph Ziggler and John Cena, although we've seen it in the past, but they do put on pretty good matches. But again, I don't know what direction the WWE is going on this one, and I I, 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 I I, can't give you an answer. I cannot give you a clear-cut answer, because I really honestly don't really know. So, Okay, we had Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental title holder, um, going up against Ryback. Um, I see Kevin Owens holding on to this title. I think Kevin Owens is going to hold on to the IC belt for a bit. Um, I don't see him losing it anytime soon. Maybe, maybe down the road, maybe, maybe at the Rumble. And if not at the Rumble, I won't see him losing it until WrestleMania. Uh, so look for Kevin Owens to hold on to the IC belt. Then now, see, here's another interesting story. We have the New Day versus the Dudley Boys for the tag team title match. Originally, I really thought at Hell in a Cell, the Dudleys were going to get the tag team titles. And I do think somewhere down the road, they are going to get the belts. But the New Day has been so popular within the WWE as of late, I just really don't see them dropping the belts at Hell in a Cell. Um, you know, I'm probably wrong. Uh, I know a lot of people want to see the Dudleys get the get the title again. Um, I'm sure that's why they came back. They were promised to get the belts, and I know they will get them sooner or later. But I honestly, I, I think it's too predictable for the Dudleys to get these belts. And uh, like I said, with New Day being really popular, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the New Day to um, retain the tag team titles. Um, you know, could be wrong. But that's my choice. Okay, then we have Charlotte going up against Nikki Bella for the Divas Championship. Uh, Charlotte, obviously, the new Divas Champion. Um, obviously, I don't see Nikki getting the belt back. I think it would be cool if she did. Um, I think Charlotte would, would come across better as a heel. Um, because when you... When you think of Charlotte, you think of Ric Flair. When you think of Ric Flair, you think of the Four Horsemen, and you think of how they were back in the old days, and Ric Flair being, 
you know, the consummate heel. Uh, he was a very good heel. And, you know, I just honestly think Charlotte should be a heel. I think she could be a better heel. I don't see her being a very good baby face. Um, but that's my opinion. Uh, but honestly, yeah, I, Charlotte's going to end up winning this match. Uh, I think, um, whether I want her to or not. So I'm going to go with Charlotte on this one. And then we have Seth Rollins versus the Demon Kane for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Let's face it, everybody. Um, this feud was set up months ago. And, um, Seth Rollins is going to at least have this belt till Rumble. And I honestly think he's going to hold on to this belt till WrestleMania. Um, I don't think there's a chance in hell, no pun intended for Demon Kane, that uh, Kane will win this. I wouldn't mind it, but I, I honestly don't see it happening. Um, Seth Rollins is destined to pretty much go to either the Rumble or or uh, WrestleMania as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I, I, I really honestly don't see any other way, you know, around it. So, you know, I'm going to go with that. So, okay. Now, Hell in a Cell matches in the cage. Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt. Thank God this has got to be the ending of this feud. I'm sick and tired of the Wyatt family. Reigns and Ambrose or whatever. I, 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 I you know... I think everybody else is sick and tired of it as well. It's a, it's time. It is totally time for Roman Reigns to go in, in the cell match, in the Hell in the Cell match, and destroy Bray Wyatt. It's just totally time. A lot of people aren't fans of Roman Reigns, but he is part of the future as well as Bray Wyatt. But yeah, you got to end this feud. And the only way to end this feud is for Roman Reigns to end it by destroying Bray Wyatt. And I think that's what he's going to do. And that brings us to the main event. The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. And another Hell in a Cell match. We all saw what happened at SummerSlam. Um, if you watch the podcast, Austin asked Lesnar about the future and... He wasn't willing to talk about it, but he had that grin, that smug look. Lesnar is going to get the WWE World Heavyweight title again. Uh, I see it. I see it happening. Um, now, would it be a, a wise business move for Lesnar to get beat by The Undertaker? One has to wonder. The Undertaker still has a lot, a lot of fans, a lot of people behind him. Uh, as we've seen, and Lesnar, I don't know, uh, Undertaker's been working a lot for the WWE as of late with house shows and, and whatnot, Lesnar, again, the part-timer, uh, but is paid very well, uh, like he said, he punches in a time card or a time clock, he does his job and he leaves, uh, I didn't like that statement, I thought it was a little arrogant, and, and you know, he doesn't even talk about uh, being friends with anybody else in the locker room. I guess that's just who Brock Lesnar is. Um, who I want to win, I want The Undertaker to, be, to defeat Brock Lesnar. Who I think will win, I think the WWE has to have Lesnar win um, just to show that he is dominant and to move forward with their plans uh, into next year so anyway there you have it those are my thoughts my predictions here on the Iceman's return YouTube channel on this Thursday night everybody have a great night peace out and we'll see you all next time